Hey everybody, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're going to be going through Iron Man Infamous, aka Infamous Iron Man, aka I Doom, his attributes and his abilities, and see if we can't learn a little bit more about him. So he is currently the top prestige champion in the game. He is also my only rank five six star i took him up mainly for the prestige but he's actually a decent champion as well and i found myself using him in um battlegrounds i find myself using him in incursions so you know and of course the monthly event quest so we'll go through you can see his uh health there Let's take a look at the attributes, okay? Uh, let's take a look at his synergies. So he has a synergy with himself. So just being on, you know, the team, when he's fighting villains, hashtag villains, he gains critical damage for each knocked out team member. So if you, like me, are going to go at some boss and he is hashtag villain, you want to go at you want to go at him with your other champions and save this guy for last because then he will get a big uh crit damage uh boost okay now we've got OG doom which some people still like better um hero champions gain 8% Interesting, interesting. Um, robot champions, we don't care about that. Uh, the Iron Mantle, increase the potency of the team's armor up effects. Okay. Make him a little bit more tanky. Trust issues. Ooh, he gains 4,900 critical rating while the opponent has two or more bars of power. Ooh, that could be fun. And look at the guys there. I can easily see myself having them on the team. For sure. Hmm. Actually, you know what? That explains something. I noticed that he had uh, a lot more damage. I was using him in a quest. And I had Mr. Fantastic and She-Hulk on the team and i may have had thing i don't remember and i did notice that now i know why uh dr despots yeah nobody's gonna bring him along uh cowardice effects are 50 percent more potent yeah nobody's bringing him along oh he's got one with penny whenever one of either champion's personal shocks or incinerates is prevented by an immunity. Oh, wow. They inflict a corresponding incinerate or shock, respectively. Wow. So if they're going up against anyone who is incinerate or shock immune, as long as they're not both, with this synergy, he will still be good. So... You could use him to fight against OG Doom. I guess uh, it's not OG Doom because this is not technically Doom. Um, but against Doom. Huh. That's interesting. And they still count as shots for the purposes of his abilities, which we'll get into. And uh, Mephisto. Whenever he's immune to an effect, he deals the opponent a burst of energy damage. Whoa. 200%? Of his attack rating? Interesting. I could see that being fun. I could see that being fun. And look at this. Mephisto even gets a nice duration boost. It's doubled? Wow. Okay. Let's uh, take a look real quick here at his abilities. All right. So signature ability. And you can see I have him at 6200. Once per fight, when his uh, health drops low, he gains a regeneration buff. Okay. Healing 35%. While this effect is back is active, the opponent is passively special locked. 
That has saved my life. I'll tell you that right now. Now, while I, Aura of Iron is active, the opponent suffers 100% flat, reduced, unblockable ability accuracy. Hmm. While his personal armor up buff is active, he gains block proficiency and energy resistance. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You definitely want him even without the um without the prestige, you still would want him awakened. So always active. When he would land a critical, he instead inflicts an instant shock dealing energy damage equal to the damage the critical would have dealt. Interesting. So he is going to be good against quite a few people, not just Bishop. We know he's awesome against Bishop, but um, Ebony Maw, because he does not crit. So anyone that benefits from the crit stuff, he's going to be good against. Um, OG Scarlet Witch also. If the opponent would gain two or more prowess effects at once, those prowesses are converted into a single indefinite energy vulnerability. Oh, wow. That's why he's so good against Bishop. Bishop is constantly gaining the prowesses. Or wait, let me think. If he would gain, because Bishop against a tech, I thought he loses those. But that might be debuff, let's see, energy that reduces the energy resistance. Oh, man. So he's going to be doing a lot of damage. I, I've seen what he does against Bishop. Okay. Victor Von Doom, because it is Victor inside that suit. Uh, grant him extra protection. Okay, he starts to fight with indefinite armor up. So even when you um, nullify it, it'll come right back. Okay. While he has that buff, he's immune to shock and incinerate. I had to learn that because I was like, I thought he was immune to shock only when he has the armor up. Uh, if this buff is lost, it's, res you know, restored. Uh, it restores itself after 12 seconds. So for 12 seconds after it is lost, he is not shock or incinerate immune. So you just have to watch for that if he ever loses it. Uh, this timer is paused when he's suffering from an armor break. Okay. So armor breaks is going to wreck him, and he will be shock and incinerate uh, vulnerable. All right. His medium attacks do not make contact and inflict shock debuffs. Okay. So if you're fighting someone who you don't want to make contact with, um, let me think. Uh, I, I wouldn't say Electro, but Korg. I could see you doing Korg here with uh, medium mediums. Uh, while charging a heavy attack, if the opponent is within striking distance and suffering from a shock, all their shocks are consumed. Uh, effects are consumed and replaced with a passive stun. This cannot trigger during the opponent's special attacks. So similar to Doom. The final hit of infamous Iron Man's Heavy inflicts a non-stacking cowardice debuff, reducing the opponent's special attack damage by 40% for five seconds. I guess that could be useful. That could save your life if you know they're about to Hit you with a special. I guess that's what they meant when they said he could tank uh, special threes. Because if you do that, push him to a special three, and you got the cowardice on, now that um, cowardice synergy takes on a new meaning. So, yeah, he could gain a lot of reduction in that special three. Hmm, interesting. Uh, when one or more shocks are consumed, he triggers Aura of Iron for 2.6 seconds, okay, for each shock removed if it is not already active. Okay. So here's his Aura of Iron. All right. It can't trigger 
when he doesn't have his armor up buff. Okay, so that is one thing to remember. And its duration is reduced by four seconds for each unique non-prowess buff on the opponent above two. So they can have two buffs and you're fine. But three, it's reduced by four seconds. Four, it's reduced by eight seconds. Okay. The aura is paused during both champions' special attacks. Okay. Uh, while paused this way, landing a medium attack ends the aura early. Okay. That's good to know. Um, infamous Iron Man special attacks are passively unblockable. Now, keep in mind that we're reading under the section for Aura of Iron. So that means that his special attacks are passively unblockable while he has the Aura of Iron active. And we know that it will go down after that first bullet point when he doesn't have his armor up. So if you've ever watched me uh, fight this guy, what I try to do is get rid of his armor up and when he fires his special, I can just block it. Because as long as his armor up is on cooldown, or if he has an armor break on, you can block his special attacks. Otherwise, you're going to have to evade him. Each time he inflicts one of his personal shocks, it's immediately replaced by an instant energy power burn that burns a percentage of the opponent's current power based on the potency of the replaced shock. Interesting. So when he has that aura up, and I've done this, you can cancel it and fire off um, a special attack. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, deals energy damage to the opponent per percentage of max power burned. And I've seen his special two do some damage. Okay, he becomes passively unstoppable and stun immune against the last hit of incoming special one and two and heavy attacks. That's when he has the aura up, similar to Doom. In addition, if the damage of the hit exceeded 5% of his maximum health, he gains a regen oration buff, Ooh. restoring the excess damage over five seconds. Wow. All right, so special attack one. He's going to enter the Aura of Iron for eight seconds. If it was already active, the opponent is passively special locked for the duration. Okay, for the remaining duration. Special two, after the first hit of this attack lands, he gains attack rating for each of the opponent's fill bars of power. Ooh. So you do this when the opponent has, you know, three bars of power. And you're going to do some damage. Each beam hit inflicts a shock debuff, dealing energy damage over five seconds. Wow. We'll play around with that. On activation of his special three, ooh, he gets the aura of iron for 24 seconds. And it cannot be ended early. All right. And until it next expires... He has critical rating for each of the opponent. Oh, wow. So if you fire off a special three while they have their special three. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to see why this guy is really interesting. Are, are you guys seeing this? If Aura of Iron was already active, both infamous Iron Man and his opponent gain an energy passive, increasing their combat rates by 100 each last. Okay. So let me see. We go up here. All right. So. Oh, man. I can see this. All right. So the special three one can't be ended early. Okay. And. We're going to see how this works. Each time he inflicts one of his personal shocks, it's immediately replaced by an instant energy power burn. So, huh. 
I gotta I gotta test that out a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna play around with him uh and see how that works. All right, let's head on into Realm of Legends. Surprise! All right, so we're gonna go into Realm of Legends. I'm only gonna bring in infamous Iron Man. That's what we're gonna test out here. Now Keep in mind, I am running the Recoil Mastery, so the damage is going to be a little bit inflated. Um, but let's see. Let's see what he can do. So I'm just going in regular attacks. And look at this. Look at the damage. Look at the damage already. I'm not even doing anything. Okay? So what I was trying to do here is uh, build up to a special three because I was curious about that, as I mentioned. So I wanted to build up to a special three and then see what it looked like, right? And here we go. And I wanted him to have as much power as he could, all right? But he was being Winter Soldier. So I got enough to get a little idea, but look at the damage already. I'm impressed. I mean, he's pretty, pretty good. Now, of course, he is a rank five as well. Um, he's not, I, I don't think he is the biggest damage dealer, but he has a lot of utility. Uh, look at the uh, crit burns. Those power burns. Very nice. Look at that. All right. So I'm still playing around. I'm not trying to really just take him out. And you see that there? I have the aura of iron active and so my special was unblockable that is very nice very very nice so i'm building up again and i'm not using the relic because we're trying to see what infamous iron man can do but look at the power burns that is really nice and look at that damage that damage is looking really nice okay and you see i'm trying to hold my uh block all right, and I figured he was going to fire off his special, so I was like, let me just go ahead and fire it off. Um, but having him at a special three when I do this is probably going to do more damage. Now, of course, that would have fired off the special three uh, if we weren't in Realm of Legends, if he had had a special three. So there's still some learning I need to do. Um... I'm very interested in uh, him being able to tank special threes, but we're not going to be able to test that here. All right, so here I'm doing again special three. Now, I'm doing this because of my recoil masteries. I wanted to see how effective a special three rotation would be. And it is. And look at this. Do you see how I'm, I'm burning him from his special three? Very nice. Even though he was at a special three, he couldn't fire off a special three if he had had one. Okay. So that's the first fight. We're going to do another fight. But I was looking here and I'm like, okay. And I'm thinking, you know what? I can do a different style for this next fight. Instead of doing the special three cycle, let's see what he can do. Uh, with me trying to do more uh, special twos and ones and things like that. Okay, so we're going to go in just like we were going in against Winter Soldier. And uh, I'm still liking his damage. Just like this, man. He's still doing a good job. And see, I was trying to let her build all the way up to a special three. And she kept doing that. I'm like, come on. And then I'm going to get a special three if I'm not careful. So I was like, no, I don't want to do this again. So here we go with a special two. Nice power burns. Decent damage. But the more power she has when I do that, the better. So I'm trying to get her to have a lot of power. And I'm just like, you know what? Never mind. You know, let's just go for it. Uh, but look at the damage. That's a lot more damage than what we were doing in the first fight. Okay, so here, I wanted to see what that one looked like. 
And you see how it knocked her back from her special three? That's nice. Um, so here we go. There we go. Just stomping. Look at the damage. That is really nice. I actually like Infamous Iron Man. I have to say. He has grown on me. And I like him. He seems to be a very well-made champion. High prestige. And he's got some good utility. Some nice power control. He's not friendly with the recall masteries or anything like that but that don't matter and you can see how fast that fight went it went faster than the other one and i'm still learning him so i'm sure there's a better rotation for him and a better way to play him to get even more damage out of him so anyway that was the end of this video hopefully you learned a little bit i did i learned a little bit as well um but hopefully you can see that Infamous Iron Man is actually a pretty decent champion. All right, so take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it, if you learned anything from it. Leave a comment. Let me know. And you all have a blessed day.